Well hello there folks and welcome back to the channel for another video. Uh, today we're going to be doing another walking route from this good old Lincolnshire book. Um, we're going to be doing Walsall by Beaver <laughs> and the Grantham Canal. Um, I've never known how to pronounce that. I've always known it as Beaver but it's spelt as Belvoir. Um, so if you're familiar let me know in the comments. So yes this is the route we are doing. I'll show you the map quickly. I don't know if you can see because of the sun. There we go. But um, yeah, four and a half miles long. Uh, looks quite good. So yeah, we're not going to waffle. We're just going to get stuck right into it. So let's get going. Okay, so I'm guessing that this is where we turn off. Um, we've got the side of the public footpath and a very faded sign saying private road, um, no public access beyond this point. So I know we go down the river, which is there, <laughs> but this is the public footpath. So let's just go for it and see where it takes us. Okay, so we've reached another point in the path where I wasn't expecting. I was expecting to be be arriving at the river, like pretty much straight away. Um, we've arrived at one of these. <laughs> so I thought I'd take this opportunity to read out some of the instructions that you're meant to read out while doing this walk. Something I don't normally do. I, knew, I normally like to follow the map and rely solely on that. So. Yeah, from the Millennium Green, begin by climbing Woods, Woolsthorpe's Main Street, passing the Stone School building and Lofty Church Tower. You'll have to excuse my reading as I'm uh, talking as I'm reading. Only built in 1847, well, we've passed the church. Um, this church replaces the original St. James's, burnt down by the Roundheads during the Civil War. Mm. Uh, reaching Cobblias, Cobblies, whatever. Um, a row of bungalows on your right. Uh, turn into the sign, fishing lakes. Oh, turn it, turn it, my gosh. Turn into the lane, signed fishing lakes. Strolling down here, the first views, the first day's views of Beaver Castle. I didn't see that. Um, and the lakes themselves can be enjoyed, spotting a public footpath sign. Dive into the narrow wood on your right, soon to emerge at a stile on the edge of the pasture. There we go, that's where we are. Um, the footpath makes its way towards the River Devon and hugs the waterside hedgerow through three such pastures, each exited via further stiles. So we go straight on then, basically. Okay, let's get on with it then. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm glad I put my other walking shoes on. <laughs> Now oh, we've got some horses in here, by the way. So we are sharing a field. <laughs> yeah, my other shoes, they're, they're nice, but um, they're not designed for this kind of walking. These aren't really designed for this kind of walking, really. It's very muddy in this field. Um, but they're the best I've got at the moment. Whoa, there's a lot of... Uh, Gosh, horse droppings. <laughs> right, let's get through this field. It is very muddy. Um, yeah, let's just try and survive it. <laughs> so look at that that we've had to walk through. Seeing this might jinx it a bit, but I think it looks a bit better from here on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, that's cause for concern. Walk around the corner, there's a load of ducks just hanging around. Um, that's not the concerning bit, but as soon as they take off, water goes with them. <laughs> Doesn't look like much, but it is completely flooded here. We're just going to have to go for it, aren't we? It's the edge. It might be better. Ugh. Right, this way. Oh my days, we picked the wrong time to do this.
lovely. <laughs> uh, let's go up high. Actually, this isn't too bad. Hug the fence, we'll be fine. Until we reach this. I hope this is the worst of it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's actually got a current. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> the water is flowing. Right, I think this is where we go. Um, there's the bit of water we just walked through. We're not going up there, I don't think. We're going this way. Follow the arrows. The map said we eventually get to a road after um, the fields and then we turn left so I'm assuming this is it so we'll cross over here we'll have another read of the book I'm going to try reading this again but I am very patchy um, with my talking and reading at the same time so reaching the single brick arch of a bridge the lane could be followed back into Walsthorpe which I think is that way um, but the extension over the stile on the other side of the bridge is thoroughly uh, recommended, which we're sitting on right now, um, and should not be viewed as optional. Following the Jubilee Way, the path climbs the grassy field to join the line of a hedge. From the hillside horizon, Beaver Castle rears up ahead of you like a scene from a medie medieval fairy tale. Uh, there must be a dozen turrets and towers serrating the skyline. Well, we can see the castle from here. I'll change lens in a minute so you can actually see it. Um, yeah, right, so we're going up here. We've just had a little chat with a um, very nice lady as well, walking her dog. <laughs> Coming from the other way, I was explaining that um, I'm trying to figure out where, where I'm going, basically. <laughs> uh, and um, showed her the map and she was quite interested and asked me if I was just, you know, well, I said I was recording and stuff and she was like, oh, what are you recording for? and gave her the whole spiel about YouTube and whatnot um, and said that I do all kinds of things like geocaching all these circular walks, camping, anything outdoors related basically so she seemed really nice walking her little dog came from the other way because the, the, the path um, is flooded over that way and I sort of giggled and said yeah that's where I've come from uh, but yeah very nice, it's nice that's the thing, when you do these walks you meet these people and Everyone's a, a lot friendlier. I think I've uh, touched on this before in previous videos. But, uh, yeah, it's a lot easier. You can just bump into people and strike up a conversation. It's really easily. Really, really easy. Everybody's really nice. Well, most people are really nice. <laughs> uh, it's just refreshing when you come out in the country and you can do that kind of stuff. It's thoroughly recommended. Um, to just get out and do these kind of walks. It's one of the reasons why I started this channel, actually. You have to excuse me, walking slightly uphill and talking it gets me out of breath. Um, but yeah, it's one of the reasons I started this channel, to sort of highlight, not highlight, um, to show that you can go on these little adventures and stuff and you don't have to go very far for them. It's better than... Uh, sat in front of a computer screen all day, every day. Don't get me wrong, I do like playing games and stuff on the computer and whatnot, but doing it every day, it's not fun. <laughs> right, so we've got another gate coming up. I'll change lens here. I don't want to catch that lady up, but it, <laughs> as nice as she is, I don't want to walk with her while I'm vlogging. I don't think she'd appreciate it either. Yeah, I've been saying to myself for a very long time that I'm going to have to go to Beaver Castle at some point because I've never actually been. I hear about it, I you know, go past it all the time but I've never actually been. Um, 
I always remember, and it goes back to when I was a kid, um, and uh, me and the family, you know, brother, my dad, and my mum when she was still here, we were going to go one day, you know, we got, we parked up in the car park and we we're going to walk up the path to go to the castle, and uh, the path was basically just, I think there must have been a wasp's nest or something, it was absolutely swarming with wasps. Um, and we didn't really fancy walking through them, so we never went. It's one of those extra little bit of motivational things that makes me want to actually go to the castle. Because of that, basically. We'll go eventually, maybe we'll do a video on it if we're allowed to film. Okay, I'll read this out. Um, Arriving at the stile, uh, the route continues on a narrow path between the fence and ditch on your right. However, to gain the most intimate views of the castle, it is worth it is first worth pursuing the track ahead until a notice board uh, further. Hang on, until a notice board f forbids further progress. I don't see a notice board, but I get the impression that I'm not meant to go ahead. Um, back on the footpath, uh, turn right when you reach the road and march down the hill for almost one mile, admiring the views in all directions and finally arriving at a crossroads. Turn left into Sedgebrook Road here, uh, noting that the impressive range of buildings on the corner forms the stables of the Beaver Hunt. The row of cottages opposite is named Hunt Cottages. So we're somewhere along this line. I assume actually we might actually be at that corner because it looks like you can well you, you can open the gate it's not locked but whether that's locked up there or not I don't know that's got to be it yeah that's got to be it I'm being stupid so we go down there and we follow the road there you might be able to see oh my gosh we're actually starting to lose the light already um, and then press down. Gosh, we're not even that far through it. We better get a move on. <laughs> yeah, there is a very high chance that it's going to be dark <laughs> um, before we finish this walk. So that's a little bit entertaining. We've got a little bit of a mission now to actually finish this in time. It's uh, as proven by my stealth camping escapade in the previous video. Um, it's very difficult to film with this camera in the dark or in low light in general. So, we're, uh, we're going to try not to talk too much, we're just going to press on a bit. Um, point to note, this is the first time I'm actually vlogging when people can actually see me. <laughs> I'm very camera shy when people are around. Anyway, let's press on. Full speed ahead, let's go. I'm just going to say quickly that the views are really stunning here and I wish the camera lens would do it justice. Such a shame. Uh, I know we're in a hurry but I had to stop and take a picture of the castle um, with the sun behind it. Sun setting behind it, it was a nice silhouette. It's not often, got, it's not often I get inspired to uh, take pictures anymore. I used to get inspired all the time but I've sort of lost the the drive for it, photography um, but that I just saw it and I was like I've got to take a picture so I had to stop obviously take five years changing the lens um, I wish there was a faster way to do it but yeah <laughs> you should see it on Instagram well I've just realized that I don't have my phone on me uh, which has sent me into a little bit of a panic um, I don't know whether I've left it in the car or whether it's fallen out of my pocket so I'm gonna go to the car quickly and check if it's not there, then we're gonna head back to where I was taking pictures. That's the only other place I can think of where it could have fallen out if I had it. Um, yeah, that's the only time I've like sort of knelt down. But I'm hoping that it's in the car. Ugh, stupid. 
Okay, so we're clearly back in the car. Um, the good news though, the phone is here. Um, uh, I did con to conclude, hang on. I did reach the decision though that we're gonna split this walk into two videos. Mainly because we're losing the light. It's like, give it another half an hour, it's gonna get really dark, I think. So, and we're, gonna, we're only gonna be like, not, <laughs> nowhere near finishing the walk, so. We are actually about halfway distance done though, so it works out. Um, so yes, we'll have to come back another day, we'll complete the walk, do not worry about that. But yes, I hope you've enjoyed this little half walk. <laughs> um, it's actually been quite nice so far. Um, the uh, My main criticism with this book is, you know, the lack of, well, the difficulty in parking when you actually get to the places. Um, the last walk we did from the book was all right, but I thought it could have been better. This one so far is just loads better. It's a lot more fun, even though it's been muddy for a lot of it. Um, you can't blame the book for that. Uh, but it's been quite nice. There's also a little village shop here that I'm curious about. Next time we come back, we'll finish up and we'll go in that shop and see what's there. It's probably nothing. It's probably like a newsagent. But um, it looks quite nice, so... Yeah, I'll not show it yet, so stay tuned for the next video. Um, yes, we've got some other updates coming as well um, that I'm not going to reveal just yet. <laughs> but um, because it's a bit too cold now to be doing like stealth camping and stuff again. But maybe like next year we'll we'll get back to it. Um, however, I do have a uh, alternative, so that's as much as I'm going to reveal at the moment. So stay tuned for that, it should be the next video, we might have something. Um, and then the video after that will complete the walk. That's my rough idea of how it's going to go. But again, before I stop waffling even more, thank you again for watching, hope you've enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for next week's video, if it is next week. <laughs> I know I'm terrible at them uploads at the moment. But yes, thank you very much, and see you next time. Bye for now.